there's any hope. It's just that your memory's just been reset, nothing more. No, I guess I'll have to. I have to explain why you're here, like this. Long before us, there was a nuclear war that almost ended it all. The new world made you smart robot guys and paired you up with naive idiots like me to clean the planet from the wastes. So you and I, we're partners. We did our job out there for two years. We struggled every day just to stay alive. They forgot about us. All we had were each other in. Until that day that I saw that this godforsaken mission wasn't going to end. And that, that was the day that you died. What the hell are you doing, Ed? That water is no good for drinking, Captain. Not until you clean it first. Standard procedure required. Standard procedure, my ass. Look, we made a difference anyway, right? Captain? What happens when we clean it all? What will be left in the end? I will remain at your side, Captain. My function is to protect you. Do you even know why? No, and there is no questioning it. Besides, what else am I supposed to do? But really, Ed, what's out there? Nothing. Junk. They made a wasteland and called it peace. And now, now we're stuck with it. What did you see out there, Ed? Has it really taken me this whole time to ask? Perhaps it is not all junk, Captain. You ready, Ed? Systems ready, Captain. Do you think? Yes, that you could say that we had our little victories, but that was nothing in comparison to whenever we ran out of luck. Plot of course HQ. <clears throat> Let's call it a day before you dehydrate me to death, all right? Captain? I thought you cleared the perimeter. I did as you requested, Captain. There was nothing that- Get it, run.
Robbers. I know it took a lot out of you to get us away, but after pondering this labyrinth for over a day, what I didn't know was that we were walking into this. There was nothing there for me. There was nothing left for me. A life lived for nothing, a life lived with nothing. And now, you brought us out here to die in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> That's him. Boys did a number on the bot. What should we do? Just wait. He'll give us what we want. And with the damage that you had taken, there was no telling what you were up to. Stand down! At that point, you were in my way. I said, stand down. Go patrol the perimeter. That's an order. I didn't know what was going to happen. Everything that was wrong with the world was you. And you were dangerous. I said, stand down. You left me no choice. I never had a choice. <coughs> but you weren't dangerous. The water was poisoned. You were trying to save me. Guess that we're on our own. Listen up. There is a very small chance that you'll get out of this alive. However, if everything goes right, we should both get what we want. That unit over there. Is it yours? <laughs> you garbage boys are always hard to deal with. Yeah. Yeah, he's mine. <clears throat> what happened to it? Physical damage. Severe physical damage. Is it salvageable? Salvageable? Look, I've lost three of my men trying to scrape up that thing. All I want are the weapons. Can you fix them? Delphal. Wrong answer! Will you fix him? So what are you waiting for? We're here. 
And in your death, you're still the only thing that's keeping me alive. The last of your life was spent making sure that they would never win. So, they want your guns. We'll give them your fire. And we're not going to leave anything behind but ashes. You'll die trying anyway. You gave me this chance, and I'm taking it, and I am finally, I am finally listening. I never thought I would say this, but I want to get back out there. Same parts, same chips, same everything. You know, now I know what you meant. It is an all chunk. After everything that I told you, Ed, will you still be my friend? You aren't getting out of here. Lights out. <laughs> you ready, Ed? Systems ready, Captain.